Mike from Mobley right here. It's a lot of focus. There you go. This is my friend Jason. He attempted to ride his bike from Long Beach to the Golden Gate earlier in October. He was on his way there. His phone broke during the process. Well, he had to stop and returned. He let me know once I asked how his bike ride was going. That moment, I instantly thought of something. I FaceTimed him. I let him know, hey, dude, I'm down to do this bike ride with you. But it'd be really sick if we did it from the border of Mexico to the Golden Gate. So... From then on, we figured it out, planned it out, when we were gonna start the bike ride. We didn't even prep. I know I told him I would prep, we didn't prep. And, well, this is the journey. Two bikes, two one people. human. <laughs> two bikes, two people, one mystery. <laughs> you can't see her. You ready? Ready. You ready, Jay? I'm ready. Ready to take my car away? <laughs> 630 miles to go, two days and seven hours. I've never seen the border but it's definitely not like the Great Wall of China. And you can see it going still, look at that, all the way up there. The city's right there. We got a good way to go. How you feeling so far, Jay? Dude, my ass is not hurting yet. I'm feeling good, bro. We did like, <laughs> we did like 10 miles already. Usually at that point, my ass started hurting, like, cause, see? I think I'm excited. Look at that bird, it's just tripping. Weird, what is it doing? Look at that, it's just chilling. Whoa. I feel like this. <laughs> you ladies think we can make it to SF? The Golden Gate. Hell yeah! Sick. <laughs> What are we doing on the phone? I know. Do we have to go next to? Where? Cattle in the island. In a day. Like All a right. Day. We're in Mission Bay now. So we did uh like 25 miles. Me and Jay made it to the University of San Diego. Hills are crazy. The hills are like what makes you regret this bike ride. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, everything else is cool. From the university to plant power, we stopped, had food. So we did five hours and then we, we biked 40 miles. That's a lot, bro. That's you think so? That's a lot. I think it's pretty much a lot. We're not even done yet, bro. We still have a lot more to go. That's just that was just like the first five hours. So two. we've been riding the bikes for six hours. Mm -mm, this looks fire. And then from plant power. We went to Oceanside where we stayed for the night and we got a room <laughs> because it's freaking freezing and we need to charge up. And we need to charge up. Ooh, we got a little bed. What side are you taking? I'm taking this side. Hey, I'm right. taking this side. So. In the morning, we, we tried to go through this base where the bike was trying to route us through, but we didn't have access to go through that. So we had to hop on the freeway. So we made it this far after a long journey of a, a military base that didn't let us go through. Not only that, but go eat finally, bro. I'm hungry. Yeah, so we didn't even eat. We just, Mowgli's making me go so far without eating. We didn't even get breakfast. We just started biking Not straight in. So hey, are you guys doing today? Oh, we're good. biking to Thank San you. Francisco. Seriously? Yeah, that's what we're doing right now. We no started, we started from the Mexican border. You did not. Yeah, we did. Dead ass? Yeah. What the? That's so sick. This is. This looks so good. <laughs> Look at this. 
We're gonna be going. We're, we're for sure hitting 100 miles today. But <laughs> we're for sure gonna do it. Look at this. Look at this. Homie said, "Good luck on your trip." Good luck on the trip. We finna make it. We finna make it. Oh, I'm gonna lay down. Damn, my legs full. Of ah, ah, it feels so good. This is not. Ah. It's more than 130 miles. We did 145 miles. Yeah. Woo. 145 miles, bro. Why does it feel like we already done? Like it kind of feels like we're done. Cause home. you're home. Because <laughs> you're. Hey, but we still got a big mission done, ahead of us. Bro. No more. Do you think we got it? We're going to San Francisco, and we started from the border of Mexico. Will you make it in a couple of days? Yeah, they tried us. Woo. Woo. I think one of the coolest things on this bike trip was just seeing the coast at night, hearing the waves crashing with each other, seeing the stars and just the lights. It was really amazing while biking. It was a mission from Oceanside to Zumba Beach where we ended up near Malibu. And we camped out that night because we couldn't find a motel nearby. So we set up the camp and began our journey the next day well we just woke up at seven in the morning about to be eight and look at this view oh my goodness waking up to this we're in zuma beach just a little bit past Malibu. <laughs> yeah let's go i think i think we slept in the coldest spot like at the beach but it wasn't that cold because because of jeremy's blanket <laughs> Shout out Jeremy. Once Jay and I woke up, we packed up and just biked straight from Zuma to Oxnard, where there was a Burger King and a Starbucks. That was the first break we took, got some breakfast, and then headed to Ventura. Jay slept right there last time. And he got woken up by Brian. You need to put the clip in there. I hate this spot forever. Dude, it was so cold I had my hands in my pants. Like, like I was warming myself up in my- Brian was supposed to meet us at that location, but he took a while, so we kept going. And then where the fuck should we take pictures? Damn, this guy came and just said hi to us. We're like, what, 10 Dude. minutes away from Santa Barbara? Like, yeah. if you're in a car, if you're in a car. I didn't expect to go this far. I, th I didn't think you guys would- Dude, you guys are going fast as fuck. You think so? Yeah, because I, I put the location been... on. I had Jay's location and I would put directions to it. And by the time I got there, you guys were another like five miles. I'm like, what the hell? So we were supposed to meet Brian originally in Ventura, yeah. but he was busy handling busy. <laughs> I mean, you know, you could tell Shut right the there. fuck up. <laughs> Once we got done taking a small break with Brian, me and Jay would leave Rincon Point, past Santa Barbara, head for Gaviota, and... From there, we literally got to a spot where the, the road was straight up gnarly steep, and that was the way towards Lompoc. We walked it for like 20 minutes, and then from there, it was mainly downhill, which was the best part of the trip right there. Like, that was one of the best downhills, and we made it to Lompoc around 10. Such a long journey, but I will not forget how how bright the night sky was it was pretty amazing next morning me and jay fueled up where we were heading towards santa maria because we thought we were going to meet up with ty aka juber but he had just woken up so we had made it to meet up at pismo so we made it to take our first break at pismo this is the bike lane the car is literally right, right here. here show me where the, the car look, is literally going there's a car coming by yeah like look. right here there you go. I think this has been the sketchiest thing so far. Yeah, sketchy. Like, I'm not sure what's up ahead. Five more miles of this, bro. Right, you this ready? Way. We sponsor now. It's the cross country team hoodies, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> I know it'd be getting cold as fuck out here. Shopsoppymerch.com. Link in the description. If you want to be like Mowgli and Jay, we got a bunch of those. Be like left. us, be like us, please. Consider doing something like that in the future. <laughs> what the f? <laughs> Damn! <laughs> You that thing up. <laughs> After having food with Ty, 
me and Jay headed to Paso Robles, and there was a lot of back road streets we were taking, which led to seeing a lot of homes with Christmas lights put up, and just the smell of pine cone was in the air. All I could think about is just wanting to be home with a cup of hot chocolate. Eyes are saying something else, my body just saying I'm awake. Tell them what you were seeing last night. I was seeing, I was seeing bicycles, scooters, <laughs> and merry-go-rounds. Fu closes his eyes, he's like, I see scooters. <laughs> and they're just going in circles, like people, not just one. While on our way to King City, we didn't even know this, but this time of the year, the winds go south, and I swear to you, me and Jay felt like we were biking uphill it was like the craziest part and at one point we just stopped and we both looked at each other and we we're like bro this sucks like i feel like quitting but we overcame it stopped at king city for a little bit and then we continued to go and we made it to soldad and then we were gonna stop there but we continued to go to salinas that way the next day wouldn't be much of a longer bike ride and I swear to you, me and Jay heard gunshots at night in like this field area. It was the craziest thing, but somehow we made it alive and we stayed in Salinas. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving, dude. Happy Thanksgiving. Hey. What? What were you gonna say? <laughs> I was gonna say the best part about Thanksgiving is now we get the leftovers at least. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking about it, I was like, damn, yeah, pie and everything. We got stuck in the woods, and it was the craziest time because all we did was go up, down, up, down. It was driving us insane, and we got out of there around 5 p.m., and it felt forever, and we still had so long to go. It, it really, like, it, it messed with us so bad. Yo, it's downhill. Oh my god. We've been going uphill for a straight hour and a half. It feels like. <sighs> I think one of the most powerful feelings I've ever felt in my life was the bike ride through the city because so much stuff was going in my mind. As simple as it may be, this bike ride was pretty amazing because, like, it showed me that your goals are just a journey. There will be ups and downs to whatever it is you want to get to. But it's not about the goal. It's about the journey because there's so much random things that happen. And it's pretty amazing. Like on our way there, we ran into skunks and we literally jumped off our bikes. It was so hilarious. With a lot of goals that I have, I think I feel more strongly about them than I have ever before because... It's not about how fast I can get there, but just being patient and continuing on the path because they will happen as long as I believe. So I really want to thank Jay. I'm thankful that I was able to go on this journey with him because it showed me a lot more about myself than I ever thought riding a bike would ever do. So just want to let everyone know that whatever you, ha whatever goal you have in mind, you can do it. You just got to keep going and don't stop because when you stop, you're in King City because of wind.